In this video, I'm going to show you what I did to fix the issues with the NVIDIA game stream working with Moonlight or if you have a Shield device. So the steps that I took to fix this is first I went and downloaded a application called DDU and this is just a driver uninstaller. So this will get rid of everything that's related to NVIDIA. So you would double click the application and to download the application, just Google display driver on installer. You're going to get a zip file and then you unzip the file. And then you want to open the executable file that comes with it. And then what you do is you select the device type, which is a GPU. Currently I have a RTX 2060. So what you do is you click on the first option. Once you click on the first option, it's going to go through the uninstaller and remove and restart your computer. So once you do that, then what you do next is you open your browser. Now your screen may look fuzzy because you don't have a driver, but open your browser and go to this website. And then instead of clicking download now, you want to do the manual driver search, select your GPU, your operating system, and then click start search. And then download the latest version that you have that you see here for GeForce game ready driver and download it. And then click on download. Okay, so once you download the executable file, you go back to your downloads folder and wait for that to finish. Okay, so once that finished, you double click the file. It's gonna ask you to extract it in the C drive, then you click okay and extract the file. I already did that, so once the G4 is experienced comes up there's an option there to do a clean installation so make sure you check mark the uh, clean installation option and wait for everything to install once you install the new drivers go ahead and restart your computer once you restart your computer there is a final step and this is how I fix my issues with the game force so if I open the GeForce experience app I uh, go to settings and then on the shield, I was enabling this option here. But if I connect to the other computer that doesn't have a graphic cards, but I'm trying to do a remote play with Moonlight, it wasn't showing my PC in here. And my friend brought along a shield, Nvidia shield device, and it wasn't showing either. So what we did was on the gaming PC, we went to the C drive, then go to program files, and then go to the NVIDIA corporation. First go to the NV container. And what you wanna do is you wanna copy paste all of these DLL files. So from the NV container, just right click and copy and go to back and then now you go to the NV stream service in here before you paste it if you double click the exe uh, for the NV streamer if it doesn't do this it might give you an error that some DLL files are missing so all you do is from that folder you paste those files in here like I did and I, as you can see, the DLL files are here. Once you copy paste them, go to the streamer and make sure that it's doing this. If it's doing this, then that means that it's fixed. So now what you do is you go back to Moonlight if it's what you're using. Again, this is the PC that doesn't have a GPU, just a regular laptop. You go to Moonlight. It's going to try to search for the computer. If it doesn't search and find it, you go click plus. 
and then type the IP address of your gaming PC. So what you do on the gaming PC, you go type in CMD for command prompt, do IP config. This is the IP address. So on the non gaming PC, you will type in the IP address and you click OK. And at that point, it should find the computer. So those are, that's all the steps that I did to fix the game stream feature between Moonlight and the uh, NVIDIA Shield device. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and please subscribe.